Today, we're unlocking a training lesson from our YouTube Ad Basics course for beginners that's currently on sale at rapidlevelup.com to our broader audience. Now, this particular lesson is about the best practices for creating your video ad. So, hope you enjoy it. Creating your video ads. So, in this lesson, I want to share with you some best practices that you need to follow when creating your video ad so that it performs best. Okay, so some general best practices are, number one, don't make it more than three minutes long. Okay, so your video ad should be less than three minutes. Make sure you get the point across. Encourage people to go from YouTube to your website so they can turn into leads um, and make more sales for your business. Okay, now keep in mind with, depending on the ad format, with in-stream video ads in particular, uh, those ones, Google will only charge you after five seconds. Okay, so you wanna make sure your first five seconds are very punchy and it grabs the viewer's attention, okay? And you also want to make the introduction, the first five seconds, um, as connected to the user as possible so they are encouraged to not only uh, click the call to action button but actually watch your ad so they can learn a little bit more before clicking on the button, right? So mention keywords in the beginning as well and throughout the video. So I like to use keywords everywhere to look for certain keywords people are searching for that are the most popular and actually mention them in my ad to catch people's attention, right? You don't wanna say anything that isn't relevant to your audience. So the way to mention certain phrases that are relevant to your audience is to do keyword research. So what I like to do is just search on Google and on YouTube. So on Google, uh, say for example, you know we are promoting keywords everywhere and it's a keyword research tool, right? So let's try to find some phrases, some keywords that we should mention in our ad, right? So what I like to do is um, first install the Keywords Everywhere extension, turn it on, and make sure you purchase credits because if you have credits, it'll unlock the search volume for all of the keywords on the right-hand side here within these widgets. And it's important to know the search volume because you want to only focus on the words that are the ones with the highest search volume, the most popular, right? So I like to go through here, look at the, um, the titles, see if anything catches my attention, right? Uh, free keyword tool, um, best, key, best free keyword research tool, right? You can look at these widgets, see what people are typing in, what people are searching for. Uh, best free keyword research tool has over 700 um, searches per month. So you could look at Google for keywords, I also like to look at YouTube for keywords as well because it's a little bit more relevant to the YouTube audience, right? So you can type in keyword research tool in the search hub bar right here. It has over 5,000 searches per month, right? And then you could also look at the suggested keywords, see if there are any phrases that you wanna pull and mention, right? So, you know, keyword research tools, we just mentioned uh, keyword research for YouTube, free keyword research tool 2021. So keep these types of keyword modifiers um, in mind. I also like to click on this blue, uh, this button right here on the right hand side, find YouTube keywords for keyword research tools. So when you click on that, Keywords Everywhere will pull up this report um, and it has 165 YouTube keywords for my search term. Okay, so you could look at this list look at the search volume and see what is relevant, right? So we initially typed in keyword research tool that has uh, 5,400 searches a month. But, there's our, but there are a couple of other keywords that actually have higher search volume. Keyword tool has almost 10,000. Keyword research has a little over 8,000, right? So I can probably mention in my YouTube ad, you know, um, keyword research tool, um, free keyword research tool, right? So that's something that I might want to mention in my ad. Best keyword research tool, um, SEO, that's a keyword modifier I might want to mention, right? SEO, Google, maybe not this one. Um, best free, find keywords for SEO, PPC, 
Okay, so make sure you look at this list and pull out some keyword modifiers, uh, descriptors that you can mention in your ad. Okay, now some other best practices, follow the ADA framework. Okay, so it's a copywriting framework. Um, it's an ad framework, um, and it stands for attention, interest, desire, and action. So your YouTube ad should follow this framework. So the attention is within the first five seconds. Okay, you want to make sure the attention really catches people's um, attention, basically. So what I like to do is mention a keyword or a question in the very first five seconds. So in you know the keywords everywhere case you know if we want to encourage people to download the keywords everywhere chrome extension we can mention something like um, you know are you looking for let's see we can say something like uh, let's see what has high search volume are you looking for a free keyword research tool right that could be an attention grabber or we can say are you looking for uh, the best keyword research tool for SEO, right? So mention certain things that might catch your audience's attention, right? And then the second one is interest. You know, so we can say uh, Keywords Everywhere is a free Chrome extension that you can install within five seconds. Desire could be you can um, use Keywords Everywhere to look at search volume, average cost per click, uh, Google Trends, um, directly within the YouTube search results pages and YouTube search results pages, something along those lines, right? So that could be the desire. And then the action would be your call to action. So telling people to um, click the button to uh, download for free, you know, click the button to learn more, uh, you know, click the link to um, claim an offer, uh, claim this offer, something along those lines, right? So make sure you follow this uh, ADA framework, uh, so you have a structure that you can really uh, build your video around to encourage people to take action, okay? And then lastly, once you create the YouTube video, um, publish it and make it unlisted, okay? So on YouTube, you can just click on this icon on the top right, click on upload video, you can upload your three minute ad, uh, make it unlisted so that it's not um, searchable, um, within YouTube and it's only meant for your ads. So these are some general best practices um, you can follow when creating and brainstorming your ad. All right, we will see you in the next lesson. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this training lesson from our YouTube Ad Basics for Beginners course. Now this is the perfect course for beginners to take that want to learn the step-by-step -step approach on launching their first YouTube ad campaigns. Now, if you want to learn more and enroll in this course, go to rapidlevelup.com. Now, we have a special offer for Keywords Everywhere customers, okay? So, if you subscribe to the Gold or Platinum plan, we will give you access not only to this course, but full access to all of the courses. So go ahead and check it out and we will see you in the next video.